Welcome, wrestling fans, to Evolution of Pro Wrestling. I'm Jay. He's Lewis. Welcome back, fans. We got another exciting episode today. Uh, first off, before we mention anything about professional wrestling, um, real fiction, you know, we do this stuff, we do this podcast for entertainment, you know, we talk about wrestling and stuff like that. Um, but in reality, you know, people perish, unfortunately. Yeah. We want to give out our deepest condolences to Kobe Bryant and his family, um, for him and his daughter, and the rest of the uh, people that were in that air, that uh, helicopter. Don't worry, I will do that. And we hope we our prayers are with them. So you know, I have a thirteen-year-old son, and that, that would crush me. Hey, Dad. Something like I got that. a comment for you. All right, hold your horses, man. Don't no, you see no, I'm talking no, about no, something? No, no, no. We got a comment for you. That I think you should read. Kick his ass, Jay. Whatever. <sighs> Something you bad. Anyway, Royal Rumble. At first, I was at the defense about it. When Brock Lesnar came in, he eliminated 13 people, tying Braun Strowman's elimination. But when Drew McIntyre came out, I was like, I holy crazy. shit. I went insane. The part we I went, went insane most insane and mo it was when Edge, Edge came. came back. Yes. When Edge came back, I we went nuts. I like, was absolutely oh nuts. God. I went absolutely crazy. Like, it was just amazing. It yes. was amazing seeing him come back. The man was still able to get down. So, I was like, wow. That's... That was epic. You know, and then... Then WWE finally giving that push to Drew McIntyre. To Drew McIntyre you know, and I, I, I definitely want to see that battle between Brock Lesnar. He, needs, he and needed that push, especially coming from a bad wrestler that no one liked, and now he's like getting all this fame from the fans. So that's like a major transition. He's gotten taller and he's gotten more ripped. So it's insane to see this man, Drew McIntyre, back into the ring the way he is now. I would absolutely love to see them give him a title shot and make him win the title. That would be a major push for his career. A major, major push for his career. No, Mapes. Major ain't the word. Like it's it's just amazing that everything he came through from being this young guy as an intercontinental champion and then winning then coming back, you know, with three MB and all that bullshit. And then finally getting somewhere where now he is pretty much in charge of his destiny now. So, also, Charlotte Flair winning the Royal Rumble. I did not like that. I didn't like that either. That's something we can only agree on today, but I don't only really agree with this child. But it was amazing seeing, him, seeing her win, but I have wanted to see Shauna Blazer win that, that Royal Rumble. I want to see her in the WWE roster. And Brian says if, if he doesn't win at WrestleMania... We will. He will win it at Raw after WrestleMania. I, I kind of believe that, but I, I think they should give that man the WrestleMania moment. Beat Brock Lesnar. To me, listen, Brock has got to go. The man Jeez. sucks, and it's like, uh, uh, no, John Smith. Me. Thanks for thanks for joining us, man. Uh, no, unfortunately, we didn't watch the MWA pay per view. Um, I heard it was pretty good though. Yeah. So NWA is uh, becoming a organization. You know, it was NWA before back then, but. Now it's new school, NWA. Yes. Well, fans, tonight's topic. We debate this every single time. Who was the better technician in the ring? Chris Benoit or Eddie Guerrero? That's the question Ooh. many people ask to this day. Who was the better superstar? These men put on exhibitions in the ring. These guys did everything in the ring. They've taken on the best. They Chris Benoit has taken on Shawn Michaels, Triple H, Hulk Hogan, Eddie Guerrero, Dean Malenko. Like, the list goes on and on. Jujan Dunder Liger. Eddie Guerrero has gone up against Brock Lesnar, Rick Flair. Eddie Guerrero has taken on Kurt so Angle. many guys. It's not even funny how many guys he's taken on in this industry. But we can't sleep on... Chris Benoit either. You know, he was a really good in-ring technician wrestler. He was one of those type of guys to take one for the team, take a hit. You know, I really liked his match in the Royal Rumble, you know, when they eliminated uh, the Hurricane and, when, how, and how long he lasted. 
inside that Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. But other than that, Eddie, 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 Eddie is like by far one of the best wrestlers in this. Industry. Well, we, I think he really did do something for. Well, this we industry. already got we already got John Smith and and uh, Ken Lloyd talking about it's Eddie. Brian says Benoit was a better technical wrestler in my opinion, but I love Guerrero. I agree. He was so good. Absolutely. He he was definitely a, a great technical wrestler, but I think Eddie Guerrero was better, in my opinion anyway. He was good. Eddie Guerrero was a ring general in the ring. I used to see the matches he used to have against Psychosis, Rey Mysterio, all the luchadors back then. Same thing with Chris Benoit. He had fights in the Cruiserweights, Chris Jericho, and uh, you know, other people. And fans, before we continue, we just want to point out we got some brand new shirts, man. You know, we got these done, custom made. You know, we're gonna we're trying to build up our style a little bit. So if you like the shirt, let us know. Christopher Brown, my, he's he's one of our number one fans, Jaden, that always comes onto the show and comments and talks about wrestling. We're, we're glad you're here, brother Brian, as well. You all, we love when you guys come onto the show. The fact that Cena said that Lesnar was the best in the ring performer he worked. With is a this is a disgrace. Is he so brain damaged that he forgot about Mania back to back matches he had with Dwayne? How can those compare? Those can compare. John Cena was wow. pretty much saying that just John to get Cena's, this man over. John Cena's but brain dead right now. Brock Lesnar is he's not a good he's wrestler anymore. I'm sorry. Bad. He needs to vanish. But anyway, um, back to the topic at hand: Chris Benoit or Eddie Guerrero? Who was the better technical superstar? Jaden. Yes. Do you think that Chris Benoit would have been able to handle Seth Rollins? Yeah, absolutely. I think he would absolutely be able to take on Seth Rollins. I think he would absolutely be able to take on the Monday Night Messiah. Of course. Why wouldn't he be able to Monday take Night on... Monday Night Messiah? What the hell is that? I don't know. Why are you asking me? I'm Because you're the one saying it. I'm not a stalker. How am I supposed Obviously, to Obviously, because you're a big Seth Rollins fan. That doesn't mean I'm a stalker. You're, you're but the Monday Night Messiah is like a religion. I guess a religion type thing, supposedly. It's a religion from saying. God. Oh, I it, thought you it, didn't know. Why'd you ask me what it was? Because I wanted to see if you know. And I said I knew. Okay, so obviously you know that. Exactly. Just, just get the damn Okay, yeah, you yeah, at. yeah, whatever. Let me just finish talking. Thank you. Back to what I was saying. I think he can handle him because Chris Benoit, like I said earlier, was one of the best technical wrestlers in the WWE. Mm -hmm. And Seth Rollins is also a technical wrestler, but you know, you have to understand there's two different types of technical. Seth Rollins is one of those technical wrestlers where he likes to jump over the top, excuse me, jump over the top rope, stuff like. Got a hairball in there? Oh, yeah, I'm scared. Be quiet. Let me talk. You'll be quiet. Hurry up. Come on. Stop burping. Shh. It's not professional. Back to what I was saying again, he was one of the you know one of the type of guys that likes to do flips and stuff like that. Chris Benoit would eagle watch his opponent. He would know it's every move and he knows when to strike. That's the type of person Chris Benoit is. He watches the person's every move and then he's like a viper or he's like a snake ready to strike. He waits for the right time to do it and then he does it without any doubt. Well. Seth Rollins is a good wrestler. I'm not taking anything away from him, but I 100% disagree with you. I literally just said Chris Benoit could take him on. Yeah, but I, I but, no, but I think Chris Benoit will kick his ass. I said that. No, he won't. He won't give him a match. Yeah. One right. match I would love to see. I would have loved to see is Benoit versus Brian. But Eddie, Eddie and Benoit. It all depends on what you're looking for. Finest from Eddie or strength. From Benoit, you're absolutely right. But these two were great wing generals. I remember when the first match I ever seen from Chris Benoit was in Japan in WCW when he took on Jujin Thunder Liger. Jujin Thunder Liger was by far one of the best Japanese wrestler of all time in the ring as a ring technical wrestler. Chris Benoit fought him. They had a hell of a match. Jujin Liger won. Eddie Guerrero has also fought the likes of Brian Pillman. Uh, who else? Chris Jericho. Triple H. Do you think Eddie Guerrero can take on Seth Rollins? Absolutely. Okay. Why? He can absolutely take on Seth Rollins because... Because Seth Rollins on, reminds get, me... Put some okay, into it. give me a moment. Let me talk. Sheesh. Okay, back to what I was saying when I was really interrupted for hurry a third up, time. Hurry up, son. God. 
but I think he can take him on because Seth Rollins reminds me of, if you think about it, Seth Rollins reminds me of a little Eddie Guerrero. I don't think he got, he has like the whole skill set of Eddie Guerrero, but when I see Seth Rollins in the ring, that's kind of who he reminds me of. He reminds me of Eddie Guerrero. Oh, Brian, but yes, Brian I do. Says Eddie will smash I, I of agree. Course. Of course. I agree. He will smash. Absolutely. Eddie at his prime, definitely. He will smash now, Seth Rollins. Now, Brian, yeah. what do you think about Eddie Guerrero and Ricochet? Eddie Guerrero. Okay. Eddie Guerrero. Eddie. Eddie is like amazing. One of the, just like I keep saying, he's one of the best technical. He is a technical he, Eddie, wrestler. Listen, Eddie Guerrero was a technical wrestler. The man had to go through hell to win the WWE Championship yes, from Brock Lesnar. The man had, has, had coffee thrown on him. Chris Benoit was another one. He was held down in WCW, just like Eddie Guerrero. They came to WWE. All, all hell broke loose when these guys came into WWE. You know, yeah, I would have thought they would have gave Benoit the championship a lot longer. You know what I mean? But, hey, they gave the man the World Heavyweight Championship. And then they put him down to ECW and United States Championship, which he pretty much... Didn't like that idea because of he thought it was his time was up. But no, the man still had fire in him. He still had that energy. Eddie Guerrero, the same thing. He was champion for a while. They gave it to JBL. Why? Okay. Oh yeah. Alistair Black against Benoit, of course. I like Alvin Clark. Oh, Benoit against him, CM I like Punk. Oh, match. absolutely. Though both of those matches are I like, epic. Yeah. Like I would have paid to see that match. Mm -hmm. Brian says Eddie has the ring smarts. These young cats wrestle and perform the way they do because of Eddie and Benoit. Absolutely. I think Eddie would have gotten the win. Absolutely. Absolutely. I like Ricochet. Don't get me wrong. The man is acrobatic. He's technical, all that stuff. But Eddie Guerrero, as I said, he's a ring general. The man can do it all. He can he can out-wrestle you. He can outmaneuver you. He sometimes even the strength can get you. You know what I mean? So it's it was very hard to not watch this man in the ring. Eddie was smarter than Ben Watt. I absolutely, I absolutely agree. I absolutely, agree. I absolutely, absolutely agree. agree. But what, listen, I one of my favorite moves that Chris Ben Watt used to do was when he, when Chris Ben Watt used to come out, come down with that flying headbutt on your chest. Like, it was amazing. And guys, while we continue, if you don't mind, please share our, our live video. Put it out there for the fans. Put it out there for anyone that loves wrestling. The way we talk about wrestling, past, present, and future professional wrestling, share it to all your friends. Let us know, let them know what we're about, and we can continue getting that fan base, and we, we will talk, whatever. And listen, before we continue, Jaden, this uh, topic for today was actually in courtesy of Alvin Cloud from uh, ARW Zone. Thank you for the topic, sir. You yes. see, we listen to the fans. You give us that topic, we're going to put it out there. So let's continue. Eddie was smarter than him. As you see, Chris Benoit was always that death defying person. He would go through all lengths to do what he needs to do. But would he do what Eddie was able to do? Um Wow, it's kinda hard. Do you, who do you think had a better, had a more of an impact in professional wrestling out of those two? I think Eddie did. I, I would say the same. I think Eddie I would say the same. I think, you know, but I, I think Eddie did because don't don't get me wrong. Not everybody's necessarily talking about Chris Benoit, but people are to this day still talk about him. Still talk about the great things he's done for the business. But whenever you hear a wrestler talking. Or whenever you hear a fan talking in general, they would be like, oh, if it wasn't for Eddie, this wouldn't happen. Eddie Guerrero this, Eddie Guerrero that. So Eddie Guerrero has done a lot for this business. You know, Mr. Lie, a cheat, steal. That's, that's what he's all about. So I feel like the people enjoyed watching Eddie Guerrero wrestler, especially with the gimmick and the way he wrestled. Because you're putting a gimmick and a wrestler with skills all in one, and his gimmick matched the way of his wrestling. So I absolutely think that no, abso no, Eddie absolutely. made a bigger impact than no, Walker. Absolutely, it's okay. We mentioned we see a couple of matches mentioned by Alvin Cloud, AJ Styles versus Benoit, AJ Styles versus Eddie. Absolutely, both great matches. I would say I would have to give him one to Eddie Guerrero. I'm not sure if Benoit would have beat the style of AJ Styles, 
But it's kind of up in the air with those two. It depends. They, would, they both would have been. Depends on what? Depends. On what? Depends. That's all I'm saying. What does it depend on? It depends. He probably could have been in AJ Styles' style. How? What do you mean how? How? We're talking about Chris Benoit here. Okay, but that's what I said. It, it, it's a nail biter. You don't know who's going to win. God. I didn't say anything. Anyway, win. Ryan it? said Benoit, Benoit was a beast as as Peg, Pegasus in Pegasus Kid in Japan. He sure was when he used to wear that mask. Then Christopher Brown says, I ain't picture Benoit pulling off something like that. The frog mm -hmm. splash, for example. No, the man can do it. He's that he's, he's that much of a technical wrestler. Um, then Brian says, Brian, uh, Benoit was a reflection of the dynamite kid. He, ve he wrestled very similar to him. Of course. Absolutely. And they both had that same physique when they were in the ring. Um, but anyway, back to what this young child just said. Yeah, the smart child. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, anyway, he said that it's a nail biter between Benoit and AJ Styles. So, um, there's also other many matches that could have went out there. I remember a match that I seen with Eddie Guerrero and William Regal. You know, Brian knows what I'm talking about in WCW. You know what I mean? William Regal was a great technical wrestler. You know what? You don't believe that? I, I do believe it, but I, I just remember one time where he got knocked out cold and it, it was very funny. By who? I don't remember. He was in a ladder match, though. And so, he so why say it? Because I can't. You're supposed to give the details. I don't got to give any details here. Anyway, let's continue, fans. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, yeah, it, it, it was tough. You know, and... When you see Eddie Guerrero, Eddie Guerrero at a point had awesome matches with Rey Mysterio. I'm talking about with matches of the contract of custody and oh, with Dominic yes. and all that stuff. The latter matches and great ma the first match they had was that I remember in WWE was at WrestleMania 21. These guys like had amazing, amazing matches. Alvin Kyle says, we, uh, I hope we get Edge versus AJ. I, I think we're going to see that match. Probably. I think we definitely going to see that match. So, when we talk about that, I wish we would have seen Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero go at it when they were at their prime. You know, when Eddie finally won the title and so did uh, Chris Benoit and they would have fought with each other. I would like to see... <clears throat> Eddie go against someone like Jeff Hardy. Eddie Guerrero go against someone like Jeff Hardy. Mm -hmm. Because Eddie See, Guerrero... Even Alvin Cloud said Regal and Benoit were, matches were sick in WCW. Absolutely right. And yes, I'm not I'm Absolutely not disagreeing right. with that. I do agree. I was just thinking... And Chris Benoit said Ray and right. Eddie were mirror, ma mirror images of each other in my eyes. Yeah, they, they knew, were. They yes. knew every single style they were going to do. Yes, absolutely. They knew each other so well they, that the matches were incredible yes. when I used to watch them. Like the moves, the flips, the takedowns, mm -hmm. all that stuff. And the same thing goes with Dean Malenko and Chris Benoit. When they used to wrestle in, in uh, WCW, I, I enjoyed their matches so much when they wrestled in WCW. Like, it was epic. And same thing with Chris Benoit and, um, and uh, Dean Malenko. They had excellent matches too. You know what I mean? This is what I'm saying. When it comes to the technical game in professional wrestling, not too many, many, too, not too many people know about that. Same thing goes with, um, prime example, when Eddie, when Chris Benoit had fought, uh, I just had it in the top of my head. Uh, Let that process a little faster. I'm still processing. It processes Anyway, faster. just continue with it. Uh, I don't know what you're trying to think of, but, um, okay, so... Anyway, he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. You, you, know you know what? You know what? I got a question for every single fan. I know it's kind of early to, to think this, but who would you guys, and I, I know some people already commented about this, but who do you guys think Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit, who would you like to see them fight? Like a dream match. Who would you like to see them fight? If you haven't commented about that, then do that now. Who would you like to see them fight? Brian, uh, Brian said Benoit and Jericho matches were dope. And then uh, Christopher Brown says, Lou, what do you think of David Benoit trying to use, trying to wrestle using his father's name? Um, it's going to cause some controver controversy. You know, you know professional wrestling. You know, they, 
they only see what his personal life was, you know, what he did to his family, you know, the murder. I don't condone it. I don't think, you know, he he's being judged right now in heaven or hell, wherever. But you cannot doubt the man's ability in the ring. There's no, there's no, without a shadow of a doubt, that man had great wrestling skills. But hey, that's up to, that's up to his son if he wants to use it. You know what I mean? Then uh, uh, Brian says Benoit and Kevin Sullivan. Oh, absolutely. Those two had wars. Wars all the time. I remember those days in WCW. Eddie versus Andre and Benoit versus Black. Ooh, Christopher Brown. Man, damn. Eddie Guerrero Ooh. versus Andrade. And Benoit against Alistair Black. Wow. Oh, Eddie Guerrero versus God. Kevin Owens. Man, you guys are coming up with a lot of these matches, man. Dream matches. That we wish we could see, but you can only see him in WWE games. Sadly. You know you're not gonna sadly, but because you know you're not gonna see it, you know what I mean? So it's just crazy the way things go. Yes, it is. You know, both of them gone at a young age. It, it, was, it was it sucked, but it did. we love watching them in the ring. We love the tech academy. You know I don't care how old they get. I will watch their matches over and over again. I will never get tired of watching matches between Eddie and Benoit or matches that they actually featured in. Or matches that they probably work together to do something, something like that. I will never get tired of those two wrestling ever in my life. No, absolutely not, absolutely not. Alvin Cloud, Jay versus Dad. <laughs> yeah, well, Jay. you've been seeing what's been going on for the past couple of days. Yeah, old man's booty. yeah we're gonna see about that. Mm -hmm. I mean, the last time you put your hand on me. Anyway, sure it is. Anyway, um, Alvin, stop starting trouble, man. No, Alvin, good. No. Please. Yeah. The dad wants we're, a trying to be, to... we're trying to be peaceful today and professional. No, he wants a reason to get his butt kicked. No, no, no. So we're, we're trying to be ahead. calm today. Give him a reason. Anyway, uh, preferably game. Christopher Brown says, preferably games that don't glitch. Lewis, yep, no, you're right. Game, uh, WWE has been glitching, but I, I played my, uh, you know, my game, and it's just fine right now. So yeah, my, my game is alright. Yeah, my game. Yeah. Yeah, no, my game. Anyway. So it's it's pretty much okay. So before we finish this show, fans, we're going to talk about who is your pick because when it comes to Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit. And and wait, hurry up! Give me one dream match from each and every one of them. Oh yeah, I don't, don't want to do all that. Well, you're gonna have to because that's part of the show. I don't he just, uh, Alvin Cloud about, just asked you, about, what, what's your dream match with those two? <sighs> Fine, I'll, I'll answer it for him. Fine, it's not just for answer you. the damn it's question. Yeah, yeah, shh, quiet. Back to what I was saying. Uh, my dream match with Eddie, my dream match with Eddie would be him against Jeff Hardy and uh, Chris Benoit versus... It's kind of hard. I don't know. I don't know one for Chris Benoit yet. But Eddie, mine is him versus Jeff Hardy. I would like to see Eddie versus Jeff Hardy. Now between Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit. I got to pick Eddie. I think Eddie is the best, better wrestler. Sorry. I think Eddie is the best, is the better wrestler. Okay. My pick is Eddie. At least, you know, that's one thing we agree on, fortunately. And... I would have to say my dream match that never happened, Eddie Guerrero against Shawn Michaels. Mm. And as far as Chris Benoit, um, I would like to see Chris Benoit versus Eddie Guerrero. You know what? My dream match for Chris Benoit, I would like to see him against Triple H. I would like to see Chris Benoit against Triple H. Well, he did fight Triple H. Oh, don't you remember? Well, I don't remember. WrestleMania 20. Yeah, no. It doesn't ring any bells. My Eddie versus Randy Orton versus Chris Benoit versus Daniel Bryan. Ooh. Hell of a match. Hell of a match. Eddie Bryan says Eddie versus Pac. Pac. Oh. No, no, no. Not Pac. Not Pac. Pac from AEW. AE. Oh. Pac. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From AEW. Pac. Yes, Pac. Ne oh. Neville. Ne that's his name? Yes. Dang. Ooh, and what about uh, Chris Benoit, Brian? Who would you see that dream match with? You guys can just throw it out there. Chris Benoit versus... Ciampa. 
Champ, oh man. Who's that? Tampa. He's from NXT. Man with the beard, bald head. Oh, that big, guy. Big beard. Oh, those are excellent, oh, yeah, man. That excellent. Man. Well, fans, our topic is up for today. Thank you, fans, for always watching and supporting us as you see our new shirts. Follow us at Evolution of Pro Wrestling on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. If you have any topics, concerns, or issues, you can message us or email us at evolutionofprowrestling at gmail.com. From myself, Lewis, my co-host, Jaden, and my wonderful wife, producer and director, Yesenia, thank you, fans, for always watching. Tune in next week. Wait a minute. Just one more thing, guys. I didn't forget what you did last week. That's how you handle business.